Today, this morning's guest is celebrating a birthday, but he's more excited about a birthday that he celebrated three weeks ago. Meet Myrtle Beach Mayor John Rhodes, coming up next on this morning's Carolina Beat. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at the Sheridan Myrtle Beach Convention Center Hotel on the corner of 21st Avenue and Oak Street in Myrtle Beach. We're focused on three birthdays. The city of Myrtle Beach, this morning's guest, and the Market Common. And we're visiting with the birthday boy himself, the Honorable John Rhodes, the mayor of Myrtle Beach. Hey, John. Hey, Greg. How Thanks you for coming in. Oh, Pretty my exciting. Well, it is. You're I'm out. not sure which one, mine or theirs. But, <laughs> or uh, the cities, that's right. And of course, the big birthday today, the ribbon cutting at noon. We're very excited about this coming about. Wow. Uh, the, the timing is perfect. Right. Uh, the ribbon cutting is going to be today at noon with right. the governor coming in. And, oh, yeah. And then uh, we'll, we'll finish it off tonight at 8.30 with a nice fireworks display. So it's open to the public. Everybody's welcome. Yeah. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a new day, a new era in the Grand Strand. Well, it is. If folks weren't around on March 12th for the 70th, 70th birthday of the city, I think it was March 12th, right? right? To hear the first ever State of the City address presented by yourself. And I was a little mayor. nervous, I can promise you. I uh, bet you were, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, it, was, it was great to do it. It was great to be a part of it. It was oh, yeah. great to be the person that uh, delivered the first address. But I've always been one that speaks, just speaks from from the heart of the seat of my pants, but I actually had a script. You followed a script. I had yeah. a follow yeah. script, and they had, of course, the uh, the uh, the slide presentation, right. coordinating with the script, and I'm like, well, don't mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it was fun, and I enjoyed it. I love it. I love it. Well, that was just a few weeks ago, and, of course, I'm probably one of the first persons. I know you've probably gotten some other happy birthdays this morning, <laughs> but to be here at 7 a.m. in five hours, ahead of the uh, big ribbon cutting. It's tremendous. Three big birthdays. Really big for yeah. the city. I mean, A, and I hate to highlight your age. You did share with us this morning. Can yeah. you share with uh, yours now? 65 today. 65 uh, and, today. Uh, Have you I've, called I've your mom? I've been here 45 yeah. years. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, um, it's, it's, man, I didn't know you get all these letters at 65. <laughs> <laughs> you got some recently. <laughs> oh, I did. I'm telling you, you know, sign up here. <laughs> oh, no, John. Wow. Wow. Uh, but uh, it was... It, you know, it reminded me of, of back when you turned 18 and you, and you had to go sign up for the draft. Right. Yeah, about the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> the same level. Yeah. Let me in on that. No chance. That's right. <laughs> of course, the biggest birthday, you know, and, and we want to get into this, the state of the city and obviously the city's birthday celebration. I saw a great shot of you and the other six council members there on the cover of the Herald a couple of weeks ago, which was wonderful. I think cutting the cake. Cutting the cake yeah. there. That's right. There's seven of y'all, right? Yes, sir. A total of seven, which was a great shot of all seven of y'all. But even as we think about, as you say, a new day, and really to recognize the market common and the strength of what's happened, to make that a reality. The real planning happened many, many years ago when the Myrtle Beach Planning Department well, got so excited. It's true. And, 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 of course, you had an opportunity to you had the redevelopment authority on the right. base that uh, were very patient people oh, yeah. and Buddy Styers who was the executive right. director there they had a lot of a lot of people that, that, that made presentations a lot of people that want to build amusement parks right. they were going to do this do that right. and finally we had some people to come aboard that actually could put the money where the mouth was right. and this is what oh, yeah. has happened and we've got just a beautiful beautiful development on a great base right. that so many of these in our country have not developed. Oh, yeah. And I think that we're going to be uh, sort of set the pattern as to what can be done on these base closings. A real jewel, not just for the state, not just for the southeast, but for the country. I, I really believe of that. what can be done. You were highlighting earlier this morning one of your childhood friends who was a real visionary, he used to own the Myrtle Beach uh, Pelicans. Jim Goodman. Obviously Jim Goodman there in Raleigh, the owner of the ABC, or the CBS and Fox affiliates and the Durham Bulls. Yeah. An amazing operator, but it really takes vision to build things. And clearly the Myrtle Beach Air Base Redevelopment Authority 
the city of Myrtle Beach, the, the fathers 70 years ago kicking off the city. It's uh, amazing that vision can really make things happen. It, 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 it's very true, and, and you know, Greg, it, it's, we've got a lot going on in our city to be so thankful for right now, and especially during such a trying period that we're in with it being called a recessionary period, right. with the market common open up, with the Hard Rock theme park that's going to open up later on. Oh, yeah. Uh, these are two areas that are going to help draw people to Myrtle Beach. You know, if you look at look at, at history, Myrtle Beach has been very fortunate because of where we're located, exactly halfway between Miami and New York. Right. Or as they like to say, New York and Miami. <laughs> but uh, it's 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 always been the last to feel any kind of economic crunch, right. Right. and it's been the first to recover. Mm -hmm. Because I've always preached that there's two things the American public will do every year. That man and his wife have worked hard all year to earn that time for vacation. Right. They may not come to Myrtle Beach this year and spend five days or six days, but only spend three. But they're going to come on vacation. Right. And the other thing they're going to do is they're going to have Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. That's two things you can count on. Right. And we're fortunate to be exactly in a location where with the gas prices as they are, oh, yeah. that to do a, a round trip of roughly a thousand miles, uh, it's going to cost you about seventy-five dollars more mm -hmm. in fuel, right. and that's not going to keep anybody at home. Right, you're exactly right. You highlighted the Hard Rock theme park, and to think, even though that's not in the city, the significance of that opening in the next sixty days, fully opening. I mean, it's obviously opening to our I, locals. But I don't believe that the Hard Rock theme park says it's located anywhere except in Myrtle Beach. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, that's right on everything. You're that's exactly right. right. Yeah. So we have to be very astute as to what's going on there. Yeah. And especially with an issue that's going to come up and that's called traffic control. Right. Because right. whatever happens, success or failure, Myrtle Beach is going to be the one that caused the problem or helped solve the problem. Help solve it. That's a very so, good point. I'm glad you reminded me of that because clearly on everything the Hard Rock Park has, Myrtle Beach is on it. Correct. Is and thoroughly on it. Now I wish they were in the city limits because right. we'd love to have a little of that tax revenue. <laughs> but, uh, you know, maybe down the road. I don't Absolutely. know. Absolutely. And the guy, the gentleman who got working on that on the local side before bringing in international investors, it's a great testament to their efforts. Dick Rosen and, Absolutely. and uh, Hugh Martin. Hugh Martin. And, uh, they just really Tim they Duncan. didn't give up. Right. They right. kept plowing. More in. visionaries there. That's right, and uh, and, and it's, it's it's going to pan out. It's, I mean, it's going to be great. But you know, like I say, even the market common. Right. Right. Is, right. Is that's that's our baby this morning. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. That's where we're going to kick off uh, the first step of the new era. Right. And then we will follow up with down the road. The air base has got a lot that's going to be out there. Of course, Mr. Withers Preserve, Robert O'Neill will be out there Absolutely. today, Mr. Market Common, Dan McCaffrey will be out there today. Obviously, the governor was here with you 18 months ago in October of 06, uh, doing another ribbon cutting. Can you believe it's been 18 months? I can't. You know, It seems like we just had it in the Herald, and I, I can't even fathom that that it, much time is... Like that. Yeah. It's gone by. Yeah. And uh, so we're... we're <laughs> What time flies when that you're having fun. <laughs> two beach ball classics have been That's held. right. Absolutely. From October, there was one, and obviously in December of 06, and then December of 07, sure. you're another, what, eight and a half, or nine months off of the uh, We're working December hard 08. right now. Yeah, working getting hard. excited about that. That's a big, a big diamond for the city as well, John. It's, it's been good for us. You know, it's, it's our 28th year coming up. Wow. We've, we've, uh, it, we, we've, Excited the fact that a high school basketball tournament has been able to last that long, but yeah. not only has the beach ball lasted 28 years, but 10 years ago we started a girls tournament that right. Crescent Bank is the title sponsor. It's called yes. the Crescent Bank Holiday Invitational, right? And that is building. And this year's teams, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a very strong field really? of uh, women's basketball. Yeah, yeah. And on top of that. The University of North Carolina women, and hopefully by uh, some act that, that they will be able to continue uh, as long as Coach Hatchwell is there to come to Myrtle Beach. But this right. year they're going to be playing the University of Illinois. 
no the Big way. Ten schools. So we will have wow. a really big time women's college game. Absolutely. Well, we want to help promote that. That is yeah. fantastic. That's tremendous. And BeachballClassic.com. Beach folks can go online to learn Absolute, more yeah. about, uh, obviously, the upcoming tournament December of this year. Of course, a lot of focus on the big uh, 70th birthday party. March 12th was the day. Is that right? That you March presented? 12th was the day, we, and we had, the, the, of course, the address, and uh, all of the uh, council was there, and, right. and we had about 250 people. To Is that right? Here at the convention the, right center. Here, That's great. Attend the event, which I thought was great. It's something that we need to do every year now. Right. Right. The public, our residents, need to know exactly what our city is doing, yeah. what direction we're headed in, right. what our vision is. Right. You know, as I told uh, at the opening of, the sp of, of my speech, we have a great council and we work together very well. We understand each other. We laugh, we have fun, but we also know when the time to get serious. Mm -hmm. We will not sit and, and create a disturbance on our council. Right. We will be progressive and productive. Mm -hmm. There's not a typical day for council members, is there? Of course, a typical day for you is probably not today, a ribbon cutting for the market common. <laughs> that, 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 it's, it, you're right, that the ribbon years. cutting for the market yeah. common is not typical, but a ribbon cutting is typical. Is typical, yes. I've, I've, I've really enjoyed the, being the ambassador for our community right, right. and promoting tourism to our community. It's very important that we continue to have that positive outlook oh, yeah. throughout the nation. And with uh, the two debates that we had in Unbelievable. February, Unbelievable. I mean, it's, in January, I mean, yeah. January it, 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 who, who's ever heard of a town like Myrtle Beach yeah. hosting two national debates? Right. It, it, it gave us the exposure that yeah. we have really needed yeah. for a long time but could not afford right. to do it because we didn't have the funds. Right. We don't have the marketing dollars in our Chamber of Commerce that Virginia Beach has. No. They, uh, matter of fact, Virginia Beach has more marketing dollars in their Chamber of Commerce than the state of South Carolina has. Oh, come on. So we, we are very fortunate to have a broadcast of two events Right. that has gotten the story of Myrtle Beach out nationwide and even, shall we say, worldwide. Worldwide, absolutely. But uh, I feel like that, that we're going to have now a lot of opportunity of people attending our, our, our resort that, that have just found out about it. So you take that, right. Right. Market Common, right. Hard Rock Theme Park, right. And it takes that one little thing, the recessionary period, yeah. and tucks it up under here and says, Whew. You're right, John. We're going to survive. Wow. We're going to continue to grow. 